How's it going guys? Welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV and this Saturday, Stoke away. Not a fixture that I look forward to at all every season. It's usually a game where it's usually very intense. We see some rough football and not the most attractive football either. That's from Stoke that is. I'm expecting Arsenal to have a fairly decent performance and this should be nothing but a straightforward three points. What I'm expecting to see from Arsenal is exactly the same kind of performance against um, Sunderland that we had. That nice 4-1 victory and I think it's good that we actually had a good win like that going into a game like this because Stoke is a place where we can come unstuck. I mean, we have lost here in the past. It's not an easy ground to go to. It's an intimidating atmosphere. Um, and they're quite an intimidating team, to be honest. When we've got the likes of Mesut Ozil, Santi Cazorla, Jack Wilshere, who aren't admittedly the biggest guys, coming up against the likes of Ryan Shawcross, Nzonzi, Glenn Whelan. And saying that, we should be beating the team who's got players like Jermaine Pennant and out-of-date Peter Crouch. You know, we really should be having the beating of this lot. Whether it's home or away, it should be a straightforward three points. And um, I, I dread to think what would happen if we draw or lose this game. I mean, we've got to be winning games, especially when you look at who we've got in March. This has to be a straightforward win. Stoke, admittedly, you know, with all respect to them, um, they are a relegation candidate at the moment. They're not playing good football. Mark Hughes, probably one of the most ordinary managers you're ever going to see. Uh, he's not a very good manager of that either. And they haven't got some of the best players out. They've got some strong players like a Charlie Adam. You know, his fitness has improved, but he's still not one of the greatest players out. Stoke don't really have any big names out there that... You know, I think are going to cause us any problems. Crouch, I mean, he's a big guy, but he, and he can score from free kicks and headers, but he's not the player he was two or three years ago. Um, I'm not really too concerned about this fixture. It should be a straightforward. It's not a game that I like because I know that we are going to see a lot of lethargic, ugly football, a lot of hoof balls. But then again, Mertzak and Koscielny, one of the be um, best defensive partnerships in the league, should be able to deal with what Stoke um, are, are bringing to the table. And, um, you know, we shouldn't be conceding any goals in this one. If it is, I reckon it will be from a set piece from someone like Crouch or Shawcross getting on the end of a uh, hoof ball. And you've got to say, um, you know, Stoke beat Man United, which, you know, who isn't beating Man United this season? Well, apart from us, of course. But Stoke did get a big win. So they are capable of beating the big teams. They also beat Chelsea as well. So, you know, this is by no means going to be a walkover of a fixture. They're certainly not going to hand it to us on the plate, and they're going to be really up for it as there's that so-called Arsenal-Stoke rivalry, which, you know, is not, is not really a rivalry, just dating back to that Aaron Ramsey incident. And whilst I'm on the subject of that, these Stoke fans, um, with their so-called allegations on this online forum, is just totally pathetic. Uh, I can't believe that from their fans. I thought they'd be a bit better than that, but that's just, you know, that's a, that's a minority of them. I'm sure that 99% of Stoke fans are all really decent guys, but... We should be getting a win in this one. Straightforward, Arsenal win. Looking at Arsenal, I mean, you know, no fresh. I actually, saying Arsenal, I would like to see Sonogu start this one. Not because Giroud played badly in Sunderland. In fact, he had a very good game there. Two goals and an assist. But we're going to need that grit up top. We're going to need a big guy who's capable of dealing with those massive Stoke defenders. Sonogu, we saw how he played against Bayern. We saw how he played against Liverpool. He could probably just walk for a whole defence if he wanted to. He's that strong and powerful. And we're going to need someone like that in this game. And... I would like to see him get a goal. For him to get his first goal against Stoke would just be absolutely amazing. And whilst I'm on the subject of Arsenal, going to get straight into the lineup, and I'll go with Chesney in goal, Sanya at right back, Mertzaka, Koscielny, Monreal if he's fit for this one, Wilshere, Flamini, Oxley chamberlain Ozil, Kezola, and Sonogo. Now, obviously, Ozil, he'll be coming back into the team, and this is by no means an easy fixture for him to come back into, especially for a guy of his physique and stature. I mean, he could get so easily muscled up the board. You know, if he doesn't have the greatest of performances, I'm not going to be too bothered because I know it's such. this is going to be such a physical game, I can tell. Uh, but I'm expecting to see a little bit of improvement from him, especially after that Bayern game where his confidence dropped a little bit. But I'm sure Ozil will come back, be a great player, and he'll have a fantastic game. I've got no doubts about that. I'm sure he'll put in a decent performance. And if he doesn't, then, well, you know, he'll improve. There's no doubts about that. Ozil is going to improve, and this is a great game for him to prove that he is still a world-class player, which we all know he is. Anyway, that's my lineup. Um, I think we're going to need to play Flamini ahead of Arteta. Not because Arteta played badly. To be honest, I don't really mind who plays out of Arteta or Flamini, but I think Flamini will be really up for this game. And I think we really need that determination in midfield, which Arteta, you know, he's kind of good at doing the mucking out stuff, but he's not kind of at the same level as Flamini is here. And Flamini does it to an excellent extent. His tackles are absolutely superb, and we are going to need that in a game like this where it's going to be so, so, so physical. And Arteta... You know, um, I'm happy to see him start this game. I'm happy with whatever lineup goes out there. If Giroud starts, I'll be more than happy with that. If Sonogo starts, happy with that. I'm kind of happy with whatever team starts, like I said. 
Score prediction for this one, it should be 2-0 to Arsenal. Very straightforward win in my opinion, but like I said, Stoke are going to hand it to us on the plate. I think it's a case of getting one goal and then letting momentum get the better of us and hopefully going on to score a couple, but Stoke, they are going to pose a threat and we could concede in this one, but hopefully we won't. Anyway, leave your score prediction in the comments box below. If you have enjoyed the video, it would be great if you could click the like button. Subscribe to both Arsenal Fan TV and my own channel, AFC Game by Game. Um, and as always, thanks for watching, guys.